Hi, my name is Derek Hooger and I'm a senior in agronomy at Iowa State University and today I will be talking about pairing the right nozzle to the right herbicide. Weed resistance has been a huge topic lately in agriculture and everyone talks about making sure we're using the right herbicides. This is a very important topic, but another topic that sometimes goes unnoticed is coverage. Having the proper coverage with the right herbicide is a very important part of weed control. Proper coverage can come with using the right nozzle for the job. Now I will go over some common nozzles in the agricultural world. I will focus on T-Jet nozzles because they are the most experience I have had. All the nozzles have a picture of water sensitive paper to show droplet size and coverage and all have been sprayed with only water. The first nozzle is an extended range nozzle. This provides the smallest droplet size and the most coverage. A negative is that there is a lot of drift potential. This use would generally be for contact herbicides, fungicides, and foliar fertilizers. The next nozzle is an air induction extended range. This nozzle actually combines the XR nozzle and an air induction nozzle. It provides larger droplet sizes but still an adequate amount of coverage while reducing the drift potential. Our third nozzle is an air induction nozzle. This nozzle is different than XR nozzles because it actually puts an air bubble inside of the water droplet. This decreases the drift potential and improves canopy penetration by providing large droplet sizes. This type of nozzle is widely used for systemic pesticides where coverage is not necessarily first priority. Our last nozzle is a turbo T-Jet induction nozzle or TTI. This nozzle has the largest droplet size and is commonly used for applications where drift is a huge concern. A more recent example this past week is that the TTI nozzle is required for the use of dicamba on soybeans. The next couple of slides are going to show us how contact and systemic herbicides are different and why the right nozzle is very important. The contact herbicide slide shows us some larger weeds that were sprayed with contact herbicide only. This shows us that the larger weeds did not get completely killed as compared to the smaller weeds because the coverage was lower on those larger weeds. This means that a nozzle like the XR that provides a lot of coverage is very important for contact herbicides. The systemic herbicide slide shows the difference between one drop of contact and one drop of systemic herbicide on a soybean plant. As you can see, the plant that got the systemic herbicide is likely to die, whereas the plant with one drop of contact is not going to die. This shows us that the coverage is not near as important with systemic herbicides and we can use nozzles with larger droplet sizes like the AI nozzle. The issue with pairing nozzles and pesticides is that in this day and age there are herbicides with multiple modes of action. This leads to a mix of contact and systemic products and the question of which nozzle you use. In most agricultural situations, an AIXR nozzle will provide a good mixture of coverage and reduce drift because of the extended range with the air induction. Thank you.